Contrary to a lot of people's belief, I, I can't play this thing <laughs> a little bit. I could. I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, you know, uh, how I started and when I started and, and all that stuff, because a lot of it has been so inaccurate. A lot of people haven't really known uh, what really happened. I, I just got out of high school. And uh, I was driving a truck, and I was uh, I was I was studying to be an electrician, and uh, I got wired the wrong way, man. So, <laughs> but uh, I was studying to be an electrician, and and uh, one day I was I was driving my truck, and I had a lunch break, and I went into a little record shop, and I made a record for a guy, a little demonstration record. Well, the guy put the record out. In, in Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Let's go. That's my hometown. You gotta be loose when you say it, you know. Where you from, boy? Memphis. Come on. If I get loose, I'm gonna just fall apart. Anyway, the guy put the record out, and it, it became pretty big in, in Memphis, and uh, and all over the. The south and certain parts, but nobody had really heard of me, so I was, I was working for about a year and a half in nightclubs and football fields, barns, Louisiana Hayride, yes sir. They threw me off the Grand Ole Opry. I went to the Grand Ole Opry, man, they gave me six dollars and said, look, go home, man. Uh, I went to the Arthur Godfrey show, audition for the Arthur Godfrey show. I said, nah, nah, he's bad, vulgar, bad. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't get on there either, and uh, and then I, I met uh, Colonel Sanders, uh, Parker. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, so they arranged to put me on television, and they, they put me on television. And somewhere in 1956 or something, and uh, uh, I did four shows on the Jackie Gleason show, and I did uh, three or four shows on the Ed Sullivan show, and did the Steve Allen show. And they had me dressed in a tuxedo on the Steve Allen show, and stand perfectly still. I couldn't couldn't move. I was standing like this, and they had me singing to a dog. Man, it was a dog here, you know. And I'm saying, "You ain't nothing but a hound dog." And the dog's looking at me like, you know, what are you doing, calling me names or what? <laughs> you know, so, so. And they photographed me from here up and uh, so forth, you know. It was pretty hairy back then. So uh, anyway, I went into the Army in 19, 1958. I got drafted. I went to the Army for two years. I came out in 1960. And I made some movies, you know, GI Blues and Blue Hawaii and several pictures that did very well for me. Thank you. But as the years went by, I, I really missed uh, the uh, the people, the, the the audience contact. I really was getting bugged. I uh, I was doing so many movies, and I couldn't really do what I could do. You know, they would say action, and I'd go, "What? What? Huh? Memphis?" You know. <laughs> and I said, "That ain't what you're supposed to say." And I said, "Huh?" So anyway. It all kept going, and I really wanted to come back, and so this is, that's why I'm here tonight, and uh, I just want to give you a brief... Uh, <laughs> and I'll tell you what, if you think long hair and sideburns were, were, were freaky now, 14 years ago, man. <laughs> I couldn't walk down the street, man. Some guy said, hey, you have this press? I said, yeah. He'd go, Pow! You know. <laughs> I'd go, huh, huh, Memphis. <laughs> 